This Rodeo Remembers, powered by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. Without ranching, there might not be a stock show and rodeo. And the birthplace of America's ranching industry can be traced back to one Texan, Captain King. Richard King was born in New York City in 1824, but he wasn't there long. At age 11, he ran away, finding a new home, working the steamboats of the South. In 1847, during the Mexican War, King's steamer skills were put into service. He ran supplies and men along the Rio Grande. And when the war ended, King and his partners turned those routes into a steamer company. On a business trip to Corpus Christi in 1852, King rode through an area known as the Wild Horse Desert. What he saw was opportunity. If horses could flourish, so could a cattle ranch. In the following years, King and his partner purchased large areas of this unused land, but who would work it? After a cattle buying trip to Correas, Mexico, King invited the town back to Texas. The hundred or so that followed became Los Queneños, or King's Men. And with their hard work and King's ambition, the ranch grew. When the Civil War ended, the northern demand for beef was high, and so were the prices. So King seized opportunity once again in 1869 with one of the first big cattle drives. In time, King Ranch became one of the world's largest, and as many copied its success, it became known as the birthplace of the American ranching industry. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.